chapter, we will be looking at the pump of a Whirlpool built top load washing machine. The pump is responsible for removing dirty water from your washer, so if that's important to you, it needs to be working properly. The motor will rotate the pump in the clockwise direction for the drain portion of the cycle, forcing the water up and out of the drain line. And the counterclockwise direction for the agitation portion, forcing the water back up into the tub. You want to look for water or rust marks deposited on the pump pointing the way to the origin of the leak. This photo shows a pump that was leaking from the pump shaft. When an item enters the pump, the impeller, which is a paddle wheel that moves the water, can move the object at high speeds causing the outer housing to become cut or melt. This picture is an example of a pump that has been cut from the inside. Small clothing items such as baby socks can find their way into the pump and at times can jam the pump completely. Because the pump is unable to turn and it is directly attached to the motor, the motor will hum when it would be trying to agitate or drain. In this case, the pump can just be cleared of the object and reinstalled. However, if it is allowed to operate this way for any amount of time, the motor can, can become overheated and go bad. Along with small socks, things such as coins, screws, bra underwires, for example, are common items that can stray into the pump. So use a lingerie bag for those loose items and be sure to check your pockets. I'm going to put a coin in this pump so you can hear what it sounds like with an object inside. It's hard to discern if you don't fix washers for a living, but there's a slightly higher pitch there than a pump that is clear of debris. If you are dealing with a leak and the pump seems to be innocent, look for signs of water leaking elsewhere, such as punctured hoses or ones nibbled by our neighbor the rat. So assuming that you do need to swap your pump, I'm going to show you how. First use a screwdriver to pop the mounting clips free. It's helpful to completely remove the clips from the motor where they anchor. These clips simply rotate 90 degrees and pull straight out of the motor slots. The end of these clips is a T that inserts in and rotates, locking the pump into place. With these removed, the pump should easily separate from the motor. If the pump has been leaking onto the motor shaft, the motor shaft will tend to swell with rust, fusing the pump to the motor. If the pump does not separate from the motor with ease, remove the motor with the pump attached. This style is commonly used on KitchenAid models. As you can see, there is a check valve on the pump outlet to prevent dirty water in the drain line from re-entering the washer. This is usually a more expensive pump. If you would like to change it for a less expensive style, simply change the drain line to a smaller diameter hose. Before you can change the pump, you need to disconnect the hoses that are attached to it. This would be a good time to have a pan or some towels ready. There will usually be water remaining at the base of the tub and the drain line. If your tub is full of water, you'll want to check your lid switch, and also consider where that water will go when you disconnect the hose to the pump. You may be able to pinch off the hose to the tub while you're working on the pump. Now let's show you how to pull the motor so we can free that stuck pump. Remove the screws that pass through the motor mounting clips. Pop the clips loose the same way you did the pump. Now it's much easier to remove the lower clip first. Once you have your motor free, strike the pump from behind with the butt of your screwdriver and a hammer. Once the pump is off the motor, you will want to clean the majority of the rust off of the motor shaft. You can use a flathead screwdriver to scrape off any loose rust. Now when you're doing this, be careful not to apply too much downward pressure on the motor shaft. Pounding down on the shaft can damage the motor. Now once the shaft is for the most part clean, slide the new pump into place. Or if you remove the motor, reinstall the motor first and then attach the pump. 
I will bypass the lid switch to demonstrate a normal drain and spin function. If you use this technique to help troubleshoot or to test for leaks, use extreme caution. Fast moving parts are exposed and can obviously cause injury. Once the weight from the water has been drained out, I will release the lid switch to simulate a quick pause in the timer that would occur automatically to allow the motor to change direction and spin the inner tub. At top speed, the inner tub should be rotating around 500 revolutions per minute to squeeze the water out of the clothing that has been washed. If the tub is entering into the spin cycle and the water has been completely drained out but the clothing is still soaked, then it should be the clutch brake assembly that is most likely the cause, and it is examined more clearly in the drive system chapter.